Hello and welcome back to MSU Tonight. Today Nolan and I are going to be discussing some current films that have come out recently, Logan and Get Out. So the first one we'll talk about is Logan. What did you think about the newest X-Men film? I loved it. It was, I, I've been like a long time Marvel fan and I um, was super excited when they said there, were going to be a, there was going to be a Wolverine movie that was like dark and depressing. So I was, had high hopes walking into this film and I was not let down. I'm always excited to see a new X-Men film, but this one, it, it was definitely a standalone because it takes place in the distant future where Logan is old and so is Patrick Stewart's character, yeah. Professor Xavier. I think it's actually like an alternate universe, like from how, because it's different from where the, the last like uh, apocalypse movie happened. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, it was fantastic. Compar um, compared to Apocalypse, Logan was just infinitely better though. Yeah, yeah, you can't even compare them because the, that one was kind of a letdown for me. But um, uh, who's uh, um, Patrick Stewart? He was amazing in this film. Mm -hmm. The whole um, the he portrayed like the degenerate brain disease super well. Yeah. It was it was it was Patrick Stewart's just an amazing actor. But to see that was definitely a new depth to the character of Charles Xavier because you never expect the man with the smartest, strongest brain to fall into that kind of hole. Yeah, and it was super kind of depressing because they um. They hint in the film that like whenever it happened the first time, whenever he like uh, seizures, had, yeah, whenever he had a seizure and like like killed a whole bunch of people, there was like seven dead and like um, two hundred something like injured, mm -hmm. and it's like hinted at that those were like the original X Men. Mm -hmm. So I think that's crazy. Yeah. About uh, halfway through the film, it, it it just struck me that this doesn't even feel like an X Men film. Yeah, it was, it was so much different than like the normal tone that like superheroes movies have been like going mm. about lately because like the marvel movies recently they've just been like all action all like glory explosions but like this one was like more of like almost like a western type feel yeah i can see what you mean like it was, it was definitely focused more on building a story and a backstory between his daughter not to give too much away but yeah. that's who enters x23 and you know kind of changes everything that he's been doing recently yeah, spoiler alert, but yeah. uh <laughs> not gonna spoil the whole film. You definitely gotta go yeah. see it though. I thought X twenty three was super interesting. It was I was thought the like fight scenes with her were a little bit stupid just because like she was just like jumping all over the place and mm -hmm. it, like I don't I didn't really think it was like I I know like realism isn't like a factor in these kind of movies, but it was a little bit too over the top for me. Mm -hmm. But like some other complaints I had about the movie is that, um the chameleon character or um what was his name uh the like the tracker um oh, caliban. The albino, caliban yeah yeah um yeah i had an issue with him because like they like it seemed like they just wrote him in as like uh, a way to like track them or whatever like it was it was just written in there's no like backstory to it mm -hmm. there's just like a way to write them out of a corner kind of thing i was reading up on that because i also saw apocalypse recently before that and i saw that he was also an apocalypse in a minor role also so okay. I'm trying to find out like why they, they've thrown him in the universe so much because they don't throw someone in unless there's a reason for it. Yeah, yeah. But s speaking of that, actually, the characters, I kind of felt that like, or the, uh, the villains, I thought that they were a little bit like weak as that, like for their like motives or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't really seem well developed compared to like older X-Men villains. I still love the movie. I'd, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10 myself. I'd rate it as one of the best X-Men movies I'd see also. 8 out of 10. Yeah. So the uh, other movie I saw this past week was Get Out. The uh, Jordan Peele yeah, wrote yeah. it actually, I think. I was surprised by that because mm -hmm. like, I, I didn't know it was a Jordan Peele film going into it. But the fact that like he goes from like writing like, um, uh, what's it called? Peele and, uh, um, Key and Peele. Yeah, Key and Peele doing those kind of skits to like a movie that's like this serious and literally has you yeah. on your edge of the seat the whole time i mean i enjoyed the movie but i don't know i wouldn't say that it was really? i i thought it was 100 percent predictable there was like a couple parts that like kind of threw me off but do you think differently or? i mean i i can tell the predictability but most movies these days are predictable but i just i haven't seen that kind of storytelling in a, a very long time in a movie like that it's just that has you just yelling at the screen the whole entire time telling him to literally get out the whole entire movie and he had all the signs and he just st stuck there the whole most of it. That's 
kind of what bothered me about the movie like if uh if that had been like me or like i feel like a normal person he would have not have trusted um rose at the end of that movie mm -hmm. like or or at the end of like whenever he was like uh he found out like secrets about the what had been going on and mm -hmm. i just had a lot of issues with how he went about that but good movie nonetheless it was also very funny also there was a lot of there was a lot of comedic yeah. like dark comedy in there to take away from the the thrill of it, I guess, yeah. in a way. The, uh, the TSA guy. The TSA. That was definitely seemed like a Key and Peele kind of skit mm -hmm. with that, but yeah. We're TSA. We handle it. <laughs> it was it was a good. I thought it was a good movie overall. Yeah, definitely yeah. a good movie. Right. But well, we'll be right back with a cute video that might give you more respect for people who walk their cats.